Greetings, Grandfather. Now this is a special additional video that uh, we're putting up. It has been encouraged by one of my students, Leslie, who asks very good questions. Leslie is in pretty good shape, takes care of himself, and uh, it uh, is a situation where he still wonders why at times he is tired and notices that with other people he feels may also be sensitive to the rhythms of Earth and perhaps even other planets nearby. Also sometimes feel tired even though they're also in good health. I'm sharing this with you here because Leslie is a student and because he is thoughtful enough to ask questions that uh, while they may affect him to a degree, he knows affects others. Then I'm answering his question again in this open way because I know many of you feel the same. Right now we are in a period that is the new moon cycle. That is, three days before the new moon, the new moon, and three days after the new moon. I'm not saying this is a bad time. It is a time of renewal, but it is also a time of rest. Human beings receive a great deal of their energy and insight from the moon. Not directly, but supported by the moon. It may be hard to believe in this age of thought and science that uh, simple physical factors are such profound influences in the physical life of all human beings. It's true, though. And when you think about it, it makes complete sense. Human bodies are made up of Mother Earth, your soul and spirit, of course, but the physical matter is of Mother Earth. Mother Earth is a portion of this solar system, and as a planet, she is nurtured and nourished by the sun and by her moon. It follows that your body, thus, is also nourished and nurtured by the sun and by the moon and by, of course, the needs of your body, which is made up of Mother Earth. When uh, the new moon cycle happens, and even for some of you, several days before and a couple of days after the new moon cycle. It's important to rest more than normal. This might even mean taking a nap during the day or <clears throat> simply relaxing and trying not to think too much. A good way to avoid thinking is to focus your attention at a blank wall or even some small mark on the wall, a scratch or a spot. If there isn't anything like that on your walls, then look at the ceiling, someplace like that. This also helps you to learn how to concentrate on any one thing and develop your focus. More about that another time. But this staring at a simple place, not a picture, not anything that stimulates thoughts, memories, fantasies, conclusions, desires, nothing. Just simply a blank wall will help to rest your mind. 
If you start thinking, just stop. Don't give yourself a hard time. Just stop and uh, relax. Now, many of you might ask, what can I do to invigorate myself? As long as you rest and give yourself more rest, then you can always, especially on a bright day, go outside, or if that's not possible for any reason, look outside, close your eyes, and face your face <laughs> towards the sun. With your eyes closed, you'll be able to detect where the sun is. This works even better if you're outside. But uh, if you must stay inside or you are very tired and need a little extra strength, then, if you possibly can, open the window and look, as I said, with your eyes closed towards the sun. But assuming you're outside, then with your eyes closed, <clears throat> looking towards the sun, just breathe in and out naturally for about eight or ten breaths. Then begin to breathe deeply for another eight to ten breaths with your face towards the sun and your eyes closed. You do that to protect your eyes. All right. After that time, there's a pretty good chance you'll feel a little better. Some of you might even feel significantly invigorated. This is particularly important during the new moon cycle to do this, but any time you need a little extra physical energy, you can do it. For some of you, it might even uh, clear out the cobwebs, eh? And you'll feel a little sharper mentally. I want to say more about the new moon cycle and have said some things about it in the past. I want to say more about the sun and have said things about that in the past and they've been published on the written blogs by Robert. But for now, I feel it's important to just address this matter so that you do not feel there's something wrong with you. Just know you need more rest. You probably need to drink a little more water. Some of you really need to pay attention to that. And uh, you need to maybe get a little friendlier with the sun. Good life.